Hi, thank you so much for joining me today for day 25 of Scrap Timber 2023 and today's prompt is to use mixed alphas. So I've decided to document these two photos of my children at Nosley Safari Park on one of the rides there back in 2010. It was for my nephew Ollie's birthday. So I've trimmed these down. They were three by four, but I've trimmed them down to about three by three and a half, um, three by three and three quarters, just to take out some stuff that wasn't needed on the photos really so the top one is of Amelia riding a bee on her own and then the bottom one is Ollie and James riding a bee and it really looks like Ollie saying where do you want to go now <laughs> I do love these photos um so I've pulled out my Vicky boot in where to next and I'm going to create two strips of um ephemera to create this layout and the, as I say, the prompt is to use mixed alphas. So I started off with one of the washi tape pieces that says Paradise Found that I put next to the photo of James and Ollie. And then I'm going to use some of the chipboard alphas from the collection as well, and also some of the word strips. So using various fonts around the page to create this layout. So here you can see I'm starting to tuck in those circle pieces that I'd punched from one of the uh, six by eight paper pad sheets. These are just the, I think um, Vicky described them as sun umbrellas. So um, I just thought they would be really nice to scatter around the page. The colours work really nicely on these photos as well. That was one of the reasons that I pulled this collection out. So I'm just having a play at the moment. I've put that camera down to the bottom right hand corner. I do change that out in the end. I just felt when I was making the layout that it was a little bit too big for what I've got going on on here. But in fact, looking at it now, I think it would have worked really nicely. But there you go. So that's one of the papyri pieces that I've put behind the photo. It's um, been torn from a previous layout, but I just it fitted perfectly underneath that photo. So I decided to add that there. And I'm just trying to decide now what to do with that awkward space to the right hand side of that photo. I've got a little ticket again from the papyri pieces and um, I'm just fiddling with these circles for now while I decide what to do. You can see I pulled out a couple of butterflies. These were in a strip of three and I just fussy cut them out as individual butterflies. A couple of the florals. Um, and then this piece that I'm adding now is one of my wax seals that I've pre-made. It's a little bumblebee. So I thought that would work really nicely. And the yellow matches the honey pot on the ride absolutely perfectly. So really pleased with how that worked out. I'd also pulled out this piece from the Papyri paper pack. It says something about... Um, bikes and automobiles but I just left the automobile bit sticking out because I think the boys honestly thought that they were riding a car so I thought that was quite cute to go there and that just kind of fills in that blank on the right hand side there. So here I am now with those word strips that I mentioned again from the papyri paper pack so to put on top of the photo of Amelia I've put magic in these moments and then on the boys today's destination because like I mentioned it really does look like Ollie is driving James somewhere and these strips serve a double purpose obviously they're matching the brief of mixed alphas but they're also drawing your eye horizontally across the page to define those lines that I've got going a little bit more I really think that adds more structure to the layout and does define those lines so just sticking those down onto the photo. Nothing else is stuck down apart from that Paradise Found title at the moment. While well, I just have a play and work out what I'm going to do, but I will start sticking things down now. So first of all, adding the photo to the mat and then going around and getting all these bits and pieces stuck down. Trying not to move things too much um, because I'm happy with the positioning. I did struggle a little bit because I put that title down. I wanted to make sure the title went down first because it's on washi paper. It sort of blends into the background really nicely and looks like it's been stamped on there. And um, so I didn't want to have to layer it over anything else. But that was a bit of a mental block for me, not being able to move that once it was down. <laughs> but it was in the right place. And once the layout's finished, you'll see it was in the right place. Now sticking these pieces down created a bit more of a challenge later on because I do want to stamp on the background and having all these layers, um, yeah, it did make it a little bit more complicated, but you'll see how I solve that later. So here's another one of those pre-made wax seals. This one says never stop dreaming. And again, the colors just work really nicely with this collection. So I wanted to add that there. If you haven't looked at the wax seals at Hey Little Magpie, they're absolutely gorgeous. We've got hun literally hundreds of designs in stock, hundreds of different wax beads for you to have a play with and the various furnaces and um, I'm obsessed they're absolutely fantastic to use so do take a look 
So just going down and getting everything glued down now, as I say, just peeling things back. These are all from the Papyri paper pack. So they're very thin and perfect for layering. And just need a little bit of glue to hold them in place. And then here are more of those circles that I've scattered around the place. So just checking that there's enough glue, as I say, underneath everything. And then getting the photos down. I did contemplate adding um, foam behind the photos, but because the layers behind them are so, so flat, I decided just to stick with sticking them flat on the page. So bringing in my T-square ruler just to check that that was straight on. And now here are my alphabet thickers from this collection. And I'm just going to write underneath Paradise Found at Nosley. So I'm overlapping these chipboard thickers to make sure that the words fit. And then add, using the... the at sign that was in the chipboard and um, this is another washi sticker and it says this right here and I thought that would look work really nicely across that flower it just brings in another texture and then I'm adding in one of our printables from Hey Little Magpie that goes with this um, where to next collection and that little circle says little things it will get moved and then this one that I'm just playing about with says wow but I do take that off in the end so that little thing goes up to the top there and now I'm bringing one in one of our canvas flare badges and that just says explore because <clears throat> it really does look like they're exploring. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. Just adding another one of those circles under that picture, continuing to build things up. I did toy with bringing this right now flare badge in, but I preferred the green. So I'm just bringing that in and that's going to sit on top of that floral there. So I add some glue and then decide that I do want to add some tangled thread. So just coming in with my black thread and just adding that underneath the flare badge. So of course, because I brought black in there, I'm going to bring some more thread down to the bottom and then I'm going to bring some more black in around the page as well. So just tucking that under the title at Nosley. And then I'll move on to the next thing. So you can see I've just taken a scrap of paper there and I've used my three quarter inch punch to punch a hole. And now I'm using um, this Vicky Bootin stamp. I forget which collection this is from. It's one of her previous collections and it's just a lovely circle of circles. So I'm just stamping around the page with this, using that paper to mask where I don't want it to overlap onto the photos and the other ephemera pieces. But this is where I was talking about. You can see it's a real struggle to get the stamp where I want it to go <laughs> because I've uh, stuck everything down, so I'm having to use pieces of paper to mask where I want to stamp, rather than just being able to stamp. I really should have done this as one of my first things on the layout, but at least I'm getting to show you what I do um, when this happens. So that three quarter inch circle that I've punched, I'm using as a mask to stamp my Chamel Main Character Energy grid stamp through. Um, again, I'm just having to mask off the corner of those ephemera pieces so that it doesn't stamp on that. So it looks like it's hidden behind. And I am taking these off the page as well. But I just love how that creates that circular grid stamp look. You could stamp onto paper and then punch these out. I really like the fact that they're stamped straight onto the layout. So another great way of getting your textured stamps used in a different way. So you don't need circular stamps for all the different designs you can just use a mask and stamp through it. I'm using my uh, black soot stamp to do this. I don't really know why I suppose so that it doesn't stain my stamp <laughs> if I use the memento what the archive link. So just continuing to add some of those circles around and it really lifts and changes the feel of that layout. So because I've got those circles, I decide that I want some black splatters as well. So coming in with black soot again, just watering it down with a tiny paintbrush and starting to add those splatters around the page. Um, this again, I make a little bit of a mistake, but again, I'll show you how I sort that out. So I'm splatting around and the mats that I've got are a little bit big for my photos. So I start moving that top one around to get the splatters above and below the photo. But as I do that, um, I start to smear. So you can see there, I move them up and then I drag it and it smears the dots that I've done at the top there. 
there you can see them all smeared <laughs> i was really annoyed so i decided to just come in with some of my sequins some of the larger sequins um i've got some pale cream ones which go nicely with that daisy on the left hand side of the top photo and some gold ones look i realized there that little things piece wasn't even stuck down so just coming in with my glue to stick that down and then i'm adding the sequins and you'll see here i'm just going to add a couple of those cream ones a cream one and a gold one over those smears at the top of the page and that just attracts the eye from those smears it doesn't completely cover them but it's just enough so that you don't notice that they're smudged <laughs> so adding these beautiful big sequins all around the page and that's it thank you so much for joining me please do check the description box down below for everybody else who's joining in the, on this hop give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video subscribe if you haven't already because I am putting videos out every day for the next month and I shall see you again tomorrow bye